Oh, hi, Hunter. How's it going, everybody? I am the Texas Man. I hope you guys are all having a great day. Sorry about the uh, delay. Uh, a little bit of a... Uh, Mike is you. <laughs> so <laughs> we are back live streaming Halo 5, grinding the ranks. So I'm going to be playing for oh, about an hour. So hope you guys all enjoy. Live chat is enabled. Make sure you guys give those videos up. You guys really enjoy it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure you guys hit that bell notification button so you guys don't miss out on a single video coming out in the future here on the Texas Man channel. If you guys are watching afterwards, please don't mention you guys saw the video in the comment section. If you guys are watching live, live chat should be enabled if you guys want to chit chat with me down there. Get to the bosses and a bit. Time to call in a warthog. We're going to warthog it. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I came to be with you again because it's all right with this game this week. And Magnums are the sniping gods. I have that song stuck in my head. No, get back into the battlefield. I don't want to die. No, I'm going to die because of a little cone. You are. It's a good thing to kill that knight. Oh, man. Look at me. I'm a green guy. Ooh, kill Jekyll. The chances are friendly. I like them. We have teleporting enemy players. Yay! I can see clearly now you're teleporting. Let it go! Let it go! I have a red ghost. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, you're a bad guy. So you can die. Quit teleporting back in front. Or back and forth in front of me. Yeah. Yes. Look at me. Hey, Jackals. Why can't we be friends? Oh, 
All the bad guys are eliminated while they're still here. Oh, there's two girls with yakis. Yeah, like one's not a pain in the butt enough. Yeah, it did the same thing too. See, this is why I try to stream when you're not around. One's almost dead. Which one? There's three of them shooting at you. One down, one to go. Oh, he's hiding. Guys are watching my thank you guys so much for doing so. Live chat is enabled. Chip chat with me down there. Say got an ultra wraith now, and uh, let's go kill. Uh, it's just a bunch of knights. It's a boring final round.
Good. I'm working on trying to kill ten of them because I have a challenge I'm trying to do. Yes, we got him. Yeah. <sighs> I was really, I was really focused. <laughs> I'm killing more than Eternal. Like that one time, I gotta kill him eight more times to complete this difficult challenge. Yeah, I know. Me? What? No. Alright, I'm gonna switch over to a different game mode if uh, matchmaking would like to work properly. I just said to quit, not to start another match. What, what, what's wrong with this game? Fine. He just wants me to play Warzone. That's fine. Easiest way to break up, I guess. I just don't like it! Live chat is enabled if you guys want to chit chat with me down there. You guys are all having a fabulous day. Playing some more zone player fight right now. Some people do. And later tonight, I will be having uh, two videos out. I will have a Apex Legends Season 4 video at 9, I'm sorry, at 8 p.m. And then I will have a Battlefront 2 video out at 9 p.m. 
Yay, we did it! We killed two really easy bosses! Perhaps. Rick asks, I've been out of the Halo scene for quite a while. Is there a lot of online multiplayer going on for Guardians? Um, I wouldn't say like anything really big has changed in Halo 5. They're still doing a lot of, like, I guess you could say, in-game events. Like, they're not giving out any more maps or anything. Um, they will, every month or so put out new playlists. Like for the past month they had Grip Ball, then they got rid of it, and now it's been rotated with um, community made maps and game modes, and so that'll be around for about another three to four weeks. And uh, so yeah. Infected is still there. They got big team super fiesta. They added in a really cool game variant of capture flag called uh, Husky Raid, where it's 4v4, and it's a one-lane type of capture the flag deal, and everyone gets random weapons, so it's Fiesta, capture the flag, 4v4, which is really cool. No vehicles, which is really nice. Um, they've still got, you know, your normal war zone. Um, they always have two difficulty options for firefight, heroic and legendary, and then sometimes they'll add in other Difficulty options for Warzone. So, and they keep offering a lot of different types of rec packs because you know Microsoft is still trying to make money on this game, even though it's five years old. So, honestly, I've been having a lot more fun playing Halo Five recently than I have with um, Reach, Halo One, Two, Three, or Four. Because what they did with Mastery Collection, I'm like, I'm happy that Reach is in there. But they put in a quote unquote battle pass system for Reach. It's not a paid battle pass system like other Battle Royale games. It's just like, oh, you want this helmet? Okay, you need to grind 33 levels of the battle pass in order to get that one specific helmet. It's not like the normal Reach where you save up credits and buy what you want. So that kind of drove from me a lot. So you said a lot of people playing? Yes. Oh, yeah, there's still a lot of people that play Halo 5. It's not hard to find matches at all. Um, it might be difficult based on what time you play and where you're at, but based on where I live and the time that I play, it's not hard. So I normally play anywhere between 1 p.m. and midnight. I think it's harder trying to find people in the morning time. So, yeah. But uh, thank you for the questions, and I hope, Rick, you're having a great day. I'm really excited to play Infinite. So I definitely will be picking up a copy of it when it gets announced for a release date um, this fall. So I am currently playing on an Xbox One X, and I will probably be waiting a year or so before I get the Series X, just because, you know... They'll have all the bugs work out by then, and you know it'll be a hundred bucks cheaper. <laughs> so, and um, you know, if you buy Halo Infinite or Cyberpunk or anything this year, then it's going to be able to play on Xbox Series X. It'll just have an updated graphic. Welcome, Rick. Okay, why did I just spawn right in front of this dude? 
We're actually behind them. Um, almost seems like I spawned in. I know a lot of people hate Halo 5 just because of, you know, the design of certain things and uh, it's goofy nature and it's bad campaign, but, you know, I, I enjoy it for what it's worth. It's not the best Halo, but best Halo based on um, what's offered. So I prefer playing this over Reach because Reach has so many bugs and problems. I mean, the shotgun in Reach is so crappy, but in... Uh, this game, the, the shotgun actually kills you, which is nice. And I'm going to get out of this warthog. Which is probably going to kill me. Yep, there we go. Yeah, but people will find something to hate about anything. Oh, that is so true, my friend. It is so true. People whine and complain about anything they want. I mean, there's very few things in life that I despise. Like, personally, I hate the last Jedi movie, and that will never change. Even if someone tries their hardest to convince me otherwise, I hate that movie. I like The Rise of Skywalker better. I mean, I had some problems with that movie, but yeah. I don't know movie's perfect, except for the sound of music, but yeah. <laughs> And when I hate movies, I hate movies not because of like what franchise they're part of. I hate movies because they it's not that I like, oh, I wanted this to happen and it doesn't happen. I'm like, I hate movies because, you know, politics and someone's own personal agenda gets thrown in there and it's so clear to see and I'm just like it doesn't add anything to the story or this makes no logical sense within the story. Like, for example, the Casino Royale thing in Last Jedi was just a subplot that went nowhere, did nothing. And the purpose of the subplot gets solved by Ray in less than three minutes. So all that Casino Royale thing he did in Last Jedi was extended runtime. And it gave us one of the most awesome characters in Star Wars history, Rose! <laughs> I love Sound the Music. Sound the Music is amazing, dude. It's the best movie, in my opinion, ever. That movie has no flaws. Be quiet, Devin. <laughs> my favorite movie of all time. Nothing will ever beat that. It's a good song. You know? It's just a good movie. And also, Sound of Music... The Sound of Music, I'm sorry. The Sound of Music is one of those also rare gems where it has a beginning, a middle, and an end. And it doesn't need a sequel. I mean, The Sound of Music has made so much money just by word of mouth that it's like, yeah, we don't need to make a sequel because the movie stands on its own two feet. It answers all your questions. And if there's anything that you know are wanting to know what happens at the very end about, it's called a history book. <laughs> really simple. I can still sing every word, every song, word for word. Well, that's good for you, Rick. I uh, have a hard time memorizing the lyrics to uh, musical songs. Unless they're, like, really catchy and are simple and easy, then, yeah, I won't memorize it. The, the lyrics for the songs and the sound of music are just so... Um, they're good. I just can't memorize them. If you can, though, happy for you. Bro, we need to get beers. <laughs> I don't drink beer. I think beer, beer to me is piss water. I will drink rum, vodka, lemonade. But I won't. I will not drink beer. <laughs> can't drink beer. I've tr I've tried every single type of beer on the planet. 
and um, yeah, nothing nothing works for my taste buds. Appreciate the offer. Never Halo Five, but I will. I cover a lot of other games: Star Wars Battlefront Two, Overwatch, Titanfall Two, COD, Battlefield, Battlefront, and uh, I will of course be streaming. Uh, the game's just going cuckoo. Um, I will be streaming Doom Eternal when that comes out in a couple weeks, which I'm so excited for. And um, I'm also planning on streaming and making a lot of videos for the Avengers game that's coming out in September. I'm so excited for that game. Uh, I just hope it's not like Destiny, because because they said they're going to be working and giving out free content for Avengers for the next five years. And uh, if you guys didn't know, today they announced that they're going to be releasing Insurgency Sandstorm uh, in August. So if you guys don't know what Insurgency Sandstorm is, it is a mix between Call of Duty and Battlefield. So it'll have the squad mechanics and the vehicle gameplay of Battlefield 5, but it will have the custom created class perks and all that stuff for your individual character and soldier that you can customize. And it's going to be um, 50 players versus 50 players. And uh, it's been on PC only for the past three years. And they finally have figured out how to port it over to consoles. I'm so excited for that. We are alcohol drinkers. Uh, no, I'm not, I'm not an alcohol drinker. Sorry. I just... <laughs> um, I, I've done one... I enjoy my alcohol, but that's it. All right, let's play some big team super fiesta. So anyway, yeah, I don't I don't just play Halo Five. I do other things, and of course, like you know, I cover movies, music, video games, and TV shows, and airsoft guns. Probably should edit that line sometime in the future. I got an incinerator. Nice. Oh, it's this map. A map doom. This map has no interesting qualities to it. Would you die? How many shots does their ghost take? Okay, now they got a mantis and wraith, and I'm going to just run for my life. And someone binary rifling me. I can't anything. You stole my kill, dude. You can actually charge up the incineration cannon in Halo 5. Actually, makes it really deadly. Let's try it again, Goose. Oh boy. I'm gonna die. Yay, I died. Really? Give me the two worst weapons in this game a brute plasma pistol and a storm rifle. What am I supposed to do with these things against other people? Uh. 
Oh, oh, the shield's up. That's wonderful. Poodoo! Outbreak that you know with this video, to be chit chatting with you. Hopefully, you'll get back into the Halo thing. Halo is awesome. I understand why a lot of people have stopped playing Halo. I mean, for about six months, I stopped playing because I'm just like, okay, there's nothing interesting or unique about Halo anymore. But hey, I'm kind of getting back into the spirit of it now that you know Infinite's coming out in the next year. So. Trying to get my fingers warmed up. I just got binary rifle to the face. Okay, I got a light rifle, and this light rifle is special because this version creates black holes. I love sucking people into their doom. And, oh, that's a hit. You're reinstalling it right now. Well, that's awesome, man. Give me up some time on uh, Xbox and we can play together maybe if you want. Hey, dude, it's the Quid Social Xbox franchise. Uh, er, I don't know if it's the most essential franchise for Xbox. I think. I think Gears of War kind of is more essential. I mean, Halo, Halo wouldn't exist without the Xbox. I don't know what the Xbox would be like if... Uh, I don't know what the Xbox would be like without Halo. I mean, when you think of an Xbox, you automatically think Halo and Gears of War, or Toad, all those things. So. Okay, Mantises are just destroying me. I mean, honestly, when you think of a PlayStation, like, what, what games come to your mind when you think of PlayStation? Spider-Man. Yay, we've only had a hundred of those. <laughs> oh, I know what you think of. I know what you think of when you think of a PlayStation. Call of Duty. <laughs> I got, got a kill finally. <laughs> As easy as it sounds, bro. Gran Turismo? Oh, gosh. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. But most people don't know what Gran Turismo is. You should be happy that I actually know what that is. But, yeah, I actually played Gran Turismo once. It wasn't a bad game. I was just like, okay, I don't know how this is supposed to be a, you know, amazing seller to make you want to buy a PlayStation. I have one friend, he's like, the only reason I buy a PlayStation is because so I can play Call of Duty and play all the map packs 30 days early on PlayStation because Call of Duty seems to have gone that direction. I'm like, okay, that's fair enough. So you buy a console just for one game so you play content 30 days early. I'm like, okay, if you need that instant gratification, well, uh, I guess PlayStation gives it to you. I'm like, I can wait a month, people. Uh, maps are maps. You're going to tell me that the reason I should buy your console over someone else's is because of one game's one month extra content span. Yeah, I'm sorry, but you're not going to get me to buy your console. I also don't like PlayStation controllers. They're too small for me and my big hands. Xbox has bigger controllers, which are 
which fits perfectly for my big hands. Also, I prefer pressing on um, buttons that come from the alphabet and not geometrical shapes. I press triangle to continue. Like, no. <laughs> not interested. So, yeah. Another problem that I'm having with the next gen is like, Xbox, I mean, Microsoft, you know, they're like, hey, this game is coming out on our console, and it's going to be a console exclusive. Well, Sony doesn't seem to want to, like, announce anything for the PlayStation 5. Like, yeah, here's one game that the PlayStation 5 is going to get as an exclusive. You want to know anything else? Well, uh, you're going to have to wait forever to figure that out. Like, that's just bad marketing, in my opinion. Like, if you want your console to sell better than your competitors, you need to have a reason for them to buy it. And there's no real rhyme or reason for anyone to get excited for a PlayStation 5. I mean, in the past six months, they've announced for the Xbox Series X that they're going to have same-day delivery. If you buy a copy of a game that can run on an Xbox One X, S or X, or background compatible with the Xbox Original or 360, you don't have to rebuy the game for the Xbox Series X. You just pop in your disc or play your game digitally, and it automatically will do the um, update for the new hardware automatically for you to enjoy. Uh, what else is coming to Xbox Series X? Halo Infinite, a new Gears, a new Forza. A new Battlefield game is going to be coming for that. Cyberpunk, Doom Eternal, Marvel's Avengers is going to be playable, and whatever other surprises they are going to be giving us with the new 30-plus studios that they acquired last year. They're going to have games for Xbox Series X out, and PlayStation is going to get what? New Spider-Man, The Last of Us Part Two, like you know, there's no console exclusives that Sony's announcing that's getting anyone hyped. Like I have a couple of friends that are like, I'm a PlayStation fanboy, but I don't know if I'm getting a PlayStation Five. What's the difference between an Xbox One and an X? Um, the Xbox. Well, there's a couple things. But I actually started off with the real Xbox. Um, now, we're talking about... Okay, Xbox One and Xbox X. Um, the Xbox One X doesn't have that gigantic um, power block. It's, so that's completely gone. So literally, you just plug in your power cord from your Xbox into an outlet, and you're done. And then you've got your HDMI cord, and that's it. You don't have an extra block sitting somewhere on a table. Uh, two, the Xbox One X um, will load up games faster. I have a friend that plays Destiny with me here on Xbox, and um, he has the original Xbox, and I have the Xbox One X. And my Destiny game will load up two minutes faster than his Xbox for the game. So, yeah, that, that helps a lot. Um, what else? Um, much better picture quality, so the, the frame rate is better. An Xbox One X can produce 4K imaging if you have a 4K TV. If you don't have a 4K TV, then, you know, it just brings it back down. And Halo has crashed again. I think it's just because of uh, Xbox doing an update, so that's okay. Um, so better, better graphics, um, better load times better picture quality, the brightness. I automatically, when I plugged in my Xbox One X and I got rid of my original Xbox, the brightness and the, just the overall picture quality was tremendously different. And uh, certain colors pop, and other colors are supposed to be darker or much darker. So it's a big graphical upgrade. So, and... Um, Oh, another thing is, is that the original Xbox has a sensor button where 
if you end up like you can just use your finger to turn on your Xbox One. You just like use your finger and it senses that there's a finger there and that will turn on and off your Xbox. The problem that I was having is, you know, I would do that by mistake and I'm playing a game and poof, Xbox is off. That's it. Um, with an Xbox One X, there's actually a button that you have to press for your Xbox to come on and off. So, um, yeah, much easier. Another thing, lastly, is um, your Xbox One normally for the disc would constantly, your disc would get stuck inside of your machine. And uh, that's a problem. I haven't had a single problem with my Xbox One X with that. So, overall, it's just a much better quality. Yeah, my toddler enjoys that feature. Which feature are we talking about that he enjoys? The the shutting on and off of your Xbox? <laughs> the power button. Yeah. I'm I'm sure toddlers enjoy just shutting off adults' consoles like spend time with me, get away from the TV. <laughs> yep. I have a I had a I have a friend that did that just to pester the hell out of me. It's even worse when you have animals around and they do it by mistake. Yeah, not not fun. Devin, you're watching the time, right? Okay. Yay! My internet will go up a hundred points though. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm definitely more excited for the Xbox Series X than I was for the Xbox One. So I'm just hoping like every single game that they've put out for the Xbox One will be backward compatible. Like they said, most games will be. But I'm like, I still want to be able to play Halo MCC, Destiny 2, Overwatch, Titanfall 2, Doom, things like that. I, there's tons of games that there's so many games that I have on my Xbox One both physical and digitally and I'm just like I want to be able to play them on the Series X along with whatever else comes out so yeah alright Has it even been an hour yet? Man. All right, so I'm going to take a minute intermission and then I'll be right back to continue. All right, I'm back, guys. All right, do that. Rick says, all right, man, I got a jet. Thanks for all the info. Cool. Hand your address my tag. See you out there. All right. See you, man. Have a good one. If you would also, please consider subscribing so you guys just don't miss out on future content here. And I don't know what's going on with matchmaking. Try again.
exactly like that banger so I can uh, get you up. I just want to let you guys know for a fact that uh, the giveaway stream that I did uh, yesterday, I started up Tuesday, ended last night, um, that has come to an end, of course, because the video is gone. Um, I have selected a winner, and the person that ended up winning will be uh, getting my email notification of being won um, tomorrow. So look forward to that. If you are the winner, make sure you keep an eye out on your inbox for that. And the game has crashed again. Let's retry that. I don't know why, but Xbox Live for the past week or so has just been really goofy, not wanting to work properly. Which I find really, really annoying. Oh, easy gaming. Never got my sub. What do you mean? I subbed you. I will try again if it didn't come through. No, never went through. Interesting. Uh, let's try that. No problem, man. Hope you're doing well. Uh, AZ A dash Z Gaming is your YouTube. Channel name, right? Just want to make sure that I'm doing it proper. So, yeah, I subbed you. I did my uh, actual name. So, right. Hang on. And guys, we just hit 76 subs. So uh, if you're watching and you just subbed to me, thank you so much for doing so. We really do appreciate the love and support. So there's a bunch of AZ gamings on YouTube. So I will just be a really creepy person and subscribe to all of them. <laughs> so hopefully I uh, found you. On there. So uh, hopefully I got you AZ gaming. There's like 
five different easy gamings on YouTube. So uh, hope that's your YouTube channel and I actually got yours. So, uh, I apologize if I didn't go through. Tonight at eight, and then I've got a uh, Battlefront Two video that'll be out tonight too. So with the uh, eight, um, Age of Rebellion update that came out yesterday, I've got a lot of new content to uh, make videos on. So I've got one both good and then one bad about what I thought about the new changes to co-op. And then I will be doing a separate video for each of the new guns that we got for the classes. I've got the new assault rifle and they changed it. And um, so I'll be working on getting the uh, officer and specialist. We'll be working on that tonight. And... Uh, throughout the weekend, so, yeah, look forward to those. Honestly, I'm just, I'm getting really stoked and excited. I can't wait. We're less than a month away from the release of um, Doom Eternal. So, can't wait for that game to come out. I will be making tons of videos on that game and streaming it for you guys. So, yeah. Yeah, Apex. I'm. Uh, I play like one or two games every now and then, but I'm like, you know, I just don't like battle royale games all that much. I, I I prefer just a straight up good multiplayer fight like this, and just having fun killing random people, respawning. Battle royale just is. Always my cup of tea. Like, I enjoy it for what it's worth, but it's not worth much in my eyes. <laughs> so, thanks for checking out the video, uh, AZ Gaming. If you would, of course, you know, give this video a thumbs up if you really enjoy it. And, uh, of course, you know, I will see you tonight for the Apex um, thing. If you could let me know in the live chat or in the comment section, AZ, uh, if you did get my sub, please let me know. Would appreciate it. Just want to make sure that you actually got it. Apex is good. Uh, I'm not saying Apex is bad. It's just I don't like playing it for long amounts of time. That's all. I uh, I like playing other actual multiplayer games. Apex is its own thing. See, I, I just grew up with the generation of like single player and then some decent multiplayer action. But Battle Royale just drives me insane. I'm actually good at Battle Royale. So, yeah. I've won three games of Season 4 Apex Legends. And I'm just like, okay, I, I've, I've learned the whole map. I've found all the secrets. I played the new Revenant character, and I'm just like, I just don't care all that much anymore to keep playing Season 4. Like, I played a lot of Season 3, because I'm like, yay, new map! Something interesting! Season 4, new character, they destroyed Season 3 map, and gave us new cosmetics, which I don't like cosmetics all much in an FPS game when you can't even see your dude. I'm like, why would I spend five to fifty bucks on a skin for a character that I can't even see the skin while I'm playing for half an hour? Like, what is the rhyme or reason for me to spend that type of money on a skin I can't see when I'm playing? And yeah, Battle Royale makes their money like that. They're crazy. Not just Apex, but Fortnite. I'm just like, oh, look at me. I get this new awesome little skin from Fortnite. I'm so amazing. And I'm like, you can't even see what you look like when you're playing Fortnite half the time. You can't do that in COD. You can't do that in Apex, PUBG, or whatever. Like, unless you're using, you know, third person view, which most people that play a shooting game. Don't use third person. Um, I hate to break it to you. You're never going to see your skin that you spent money on. So. Now, there are some shooter games like 
Battlefront 2 that you can spend money on <laughs> for cosmetics. But it makes sense because if you're playing as for like that called General Grievous and you get his um, shattered armor skin, you know, you see that skin while you're getting your kill streak and it makes you feel cool and awesome. So, yeah. I am surprised that a cool hand actually figured out what the gamer tag was without having to friend him. And I just got murdered. I'm getting murdered. At the bottom of on our team. I need to focus a little more. That's what happens when I talk. I don't I just focus. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, AZ Gaming, did you get my sub? Please let me know if you're still watching. I think you are. Can't tell. Apex is good. Yeah. It's it's the only battle royale game that I play right now. Like I've tried every single type of battle royale game that's out there. Better be. So I've tried a lot of battle royale games, and the only one that I enjoy playing on a consistent basis is Apex. Another problem I have doing updates every week for their game. Oh so, yeah. You really can't play more than one because of your hard drive space. Even with an external hard drive, which is what I have, it really still chews into it. Shoot me, we're on the same team, Ray. Someone else killed him. That's nice. I feel like this Wraith and I are just on the same page. Oh, that was nice. Ooh, combat of all pistol. I want that. No! I just got beam rifled to the back. Oh, okay. And I'm dead. Uh, what? I got a battery rifle. I need to get incinerator and beam rifle right kills. It doesn't help to give me two crappy guns. If you guys haven't had a chance to, I highly encourage you guys to check out AZ Gaming's YouTube channel. It does a lot of awesome um, streams for a bunch of video games. So I know I only focus on like a couple, but AZ Gaming covers a lot more game um, to come out. So I encourage you guys, you know, check out his channel. It's a really good, awesome channel, and uh, he's really funny and a great guy. All right. All right, got about another 20 minutes or so, guys, and I'll be shutting down the stream. Hi, right, Ruby. Got a cat in the background. She's like, spend time with me. Please. Where? <coughs> Wait, get back here. You play tag? You play tag? I gotta go. I get humans to kill.
Come on, team. Something. I'm in first place on our game. Wow, that just screams fun. What's our team doing? Oh, hello, Mantis. I'm dead. Because our team won't do anything. Oh, come on, team. Teammates, where are you? And they saw our mantis. 
Why don't we all just quit? Are you serious? Oh. Alright guys, that's going to do it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys all have an amazing day. See you guys in the next video. Bye guys!